Hello everyone, this is Snowmanden here, slightly congested, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different in Bones Cafe. I am going to show you how to automate the minions. So if you have any questions about how to interact with the minions, how exactly they work, we're going to we're going to address that. So let's hop in. Once again, had to watch the previous video to figure out which cafe it is <laughs> for this for this series, because uh, I have all four save files open. So if we go to the controls menu, the way we're going to do this is the top button on a controller on your button side, your right side, is going to be your summon button for the minions. If you're on, if you're using the keyboard, it's going to be I. All right, let's pick a salad. So, you would summon once just to get the minion out here. Summon again to make it a little server. And you don't have to do anything to make them servers. You just have to summon them and then they'll go get the, the completed place, serve them to people, greet people. They'll do all that. A note here about the server um, minions. They are really good at grabbing the plates that are completed and talking to the guests and finding out their orders. They are also good at sabotaging you if you're trying to poison a plate. So you either need to have the cook sabotage the plate, or I highly recommend that you manually do it, but you do have to outrun the wait staff. Now, if I want this guy to make a salad, it's on a timer, so you have to be ready. You need to know what you're doing. So for the salad, we need to chop lettuce, chop tomato, plate. That's it. So. Place it. And then you hit, once you're done, you hit that summon button again and then he'll go do his thing. Now something to keep in mind, they mimic your, your actions exactly. So if you're placing something on a specific counter, if that counter is occupied, that's gonna stop their progress. See salad guy below. Now let's say you wanna make something, uh, I don't know. Let's see. The simple recipes are easy, like roasted corn. Let's talk about roasted corn. That's easy. You just you just toss corn in the oven and plate it. So grab the corn, throw it in there, have them wait, plate it. So this is how I choose to do it. There would be other ways to do this too, depending on how you want to automate this. But there's also ways to really mess it up. Like, uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm gonna put a line of plates down. But if you put the line of plates down, then if the top plate, if the first plate's not out of the way, then your plate guy's not gonna plate anything. So there are wrong ways to do this, or not efficient ways to do this, I should say. Not necessarily wrong, but definitely not efficient. That'll kind of break the game and make it so that you're your minions aren't doing what you want them to do. So you just have to be mindful of the actions that you give them. Now, let's say you wanna make something complex. So I got beef stew up here, right? Let's go look at beef stew. And I recommend whenever you're trying to train them, if it's not something simple, to pull it up in the recipe book and pin it. Okay, so I need to make this to make sure that I know what the heck I'm doing. Well, I can pull out a minion. To make beef stew, you need to put water into your pot. You need to chop an onion and a potato. You need to chop beef. You need to put all that in there and you have to make it. So you could try to teach one minion to do it. I think it would be challenging. So I think you're gonna need two beef stew guys. Oh, botch, botch job on that. So let's think about this. So. The way, and this is gonna depend on the way your kitchen's set up. Mine's set up very poorly right now. <laughs> I don't have like a normal kitchen layout at any given moment because I'm more worried about my murder tables. So the way we're gonna make the beef stew, we're actually gonna use three minions. So minion number one is going to chop potatoes and chop onions and then place those on a counter, one counter together because those items can merge. Second minion is gonna chop the beef 
and get the water for the next ingredients. And he's gonna place these on two separate counters. So we're using three counter spaces total for this operation right now. Last minion is gonna grab all these ingredients and place those into the pot. And then he's going to mix them and plate the final product. Okay, let's see that happen again. So while I fix these, another note I wanted to make is that you do not have to place things on counters. You can place them on the floor and there's ample floor space if you don't have a counter. So don't be afraid to utilize the floor as an option and your minions will pick stuff up off the floor too. So it's a valid option in automating your kitchen. All right, so we got all our ingredients. He's gonna grab them. He's gonna mix it. All right, see, and then he's gonna go through. He's gonna grab it again. He's gonna make the next beef stew. So you really just gotta think about the, the, the order and the process that you're doing this and make sure that they're not gonna mess it up. That's the hard part, is that they don't mess it up. <laughs> it's very easy to mess it up. And you have to be careful that you don't place, you know, tell two of them to use the same counter because that's gonna totally hold you up. Um, it's limited space, but the thing about these more complex recipes is that this is worth seven, seven complexity. So versus like you can teach one guy to do a salad, right? But we have three guys doing this beef stew, but you get seven complexity out of it. You get 29 money out of it versus the salad, you get 12. So it's just about kind of using your limited resources for your, for your benefit. A few parting thoughts that I have is uh, don't get discouraged if at first um, you mess up the automation a little bit. It takes a little bit of getting used to and thinking it through. Um, definitely need to be killing the customers to uh, maximize your minion potential. And the more minions that you have on a recipe, the faster it'll be produced, which is something to keep in mind. So like on those complex recipes, like I had three minions on it. If I only had two on it, it's going to slow it down. So the more that you can put towards it, the better, but it does take more setup time. So I spend a considerable amount of time um, in these videos and whenever I play, just setting up the minions. Uh, it takes a little while for the automation. So just make sure, you know, practice, get it down pat and you'll be, you'll be golden. All right, but that is how you use your minions in Bones Cafe. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I've been playing a lot of Bones Cafe so far and looking into other games as well. As always, be true to yourselves and never let anyone stop you from living that truth. Until next time, folks. Bye.